Chapter 3, Section 5 is focused on momentum. This video tutorial will take a look at Learning Target 3.5.1, which is about the momentum of objects involved in collisions. Think about a sport or activity that you enjoy watching. Collisions in these types of activities can be very exciting. However, collisions on the road can be deadly. Did you know that car accidents are the leading cause of injury and death among teenagers? Understanding collisions will hopefully help you make better decisions as you are driving. So, what is momentum? Momentum is a word that a lot of people use, but not that many people actually understand. In physics, momentum has a very specific meaning. The meaning of momentum is the mass of an object multiplied by the velocity of an object. So momentum is equal to the mass times the velocity. If we have two objects that are moving with the same velocity, the object with a smaller mass is going to have a smaller momentum. And an object with a larger mass is going to have a larger momentum. Again, that's if we have an, two objects that are moving with the same velocity. Momentum changes with changes in mass. But momentum also changes with changes in velocity. As you can see, the bigger the mass of an object, the bigger the momentum. But also, the bigger the velocity of an object, the bigger the momentum because mass and velocity multiplied together give an object its momentum. This is another way of looking at the relationship. Momentum increases if either the mass or the velocity increases. And the graphs show this. You can see the mass on this graph is increasing and momentum is increasing, giving us that positive slope line. Here the velocity is increasing and momentum increases, giving the positive slope line. So again, when we are calculating momentum, it's equal to the mass multiplied by the velocity. Momentum is represented with the letter P. A lowercase p represents momentum. M for mass, V for velocity. So that is the equation that we use when we solve problems for momentum. Let's take a look at this sample problem. In order to find the momentum, we use the mass times the velocity. So in this practice problem, we have an object that has a mass of 2,000 kilograms. And this object is traveling with a speed, or velocity, of 32 meters per second. So if we multiply 32 times 2,000, we get 64,000 and when we multiply the units, we get kilograms times meters per second. And before, we multiplied kilograms times meters per second squared, and we said we can convert that to newtons. In this case, we cannot convert this to newtons because it is simply kilograms times meters per second. So we keep all of that as our units for momentum. Let's take a look at some more sample problems. So we want to know which has more momentum, a three kilograms sledgehammer 
which has a speed of 1.5 meters per second, or a 4 kilogram sledgehammer that has a speed of 0.9 meters per second. So we need to look at the information we're given in the problem. The mass of the smaller sledgehammer is 3.0 kilograms and the velocity is 1.5 meters per second. The mass of the larger sledgehammer is 4 kilograms and its velocity is 0.9 meters per second. To find each one's momentum, we need to multiply the mass times the velocity. In your binder, do the calculations and find the answer to this question. Here are two additional momentum problems. Complete these problems in your binder as practice with momentum. Be sure to check your work with the self-check station and prepare for assessment. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks!